What's up, everybody? I am back. I'm here at it again. It's been a minute since my last video, but I'm planning to get back on track. I never finished off the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 8 Reunion Part 3. So that's what I'm going to be recapping today. Overall, it's been a couple weeks since it aired, but I'm going to review it now. Overall, that season was a mess. Like, I'm actually so happy it's over because I don't have this anger every week that I have to experience watching this show. I kind of saw some of the things that happened on Twitter and stuff, what Giselle was saying, but I have to rewatch it because it's been a couple weeks. However, I hope she's canceled because <sighs> she is like the worst. Robin, I heard Robin's gone. See ya. Candace, happy she is pregnant and going on that journey without the toxicity. It's Dr. Wendy, next season, Rainman. So this is the last part of the Real Housewives of Potomac, season eight, part three, reunion. Here we go. If there was a bipolar two or three or four, quite frankly, I would have those. Really? When were you diagnosed? diagnosed? I was diagnosed near two and a half years ish ago. My manic got worse over the years as I gained more control, more power, more money. When you locked me in the room, Locked her in the room. You locked took her. Took my cell phone, Gordon. Yeah, I took the cell phone. And took her cell phone. Okay. Do you believe that she was having an affair during the marriage? Yes. Duration of it, no. Oh. Two petitions. You cry. Yeah. This is heavy. This is heavy, but this is real, and this is why Mia has that first. The fact that Gordon opened up about that, so amazing, so brave, so strong. He doesn't even know he's probably helping so many other people. This is also giving insight to like their marriage and like what Mia probably has went through and kind of not painting Mia as the the bad one, I guess, in a sense, in the marriage, you know? There was problems on both sides and you could tell by Mia's like emotions, she's really been affected by this. That was real. I'm gonna always probably remember that scene. That's how real that scene was. That was great. Who do they hold in Potomac? It's not a peach, obviously, Atlanta. Oh, they're holding champagne glasses. Okay, Mia, your champagne glass is what? Secured. Karen, can you explain the difference between North Potomac and Potomac? And why Mecca doesn't live in Potomac proper, according to your map? Let's be very clear. The part that Mecca lives in is North Potomac. So what part of Potomac are you in? Central. Thank you, baby. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ashley, what's was... wrong with being in North Potomac, by the way? Is North, like, not as lit as Central Potomac? It's still Potomac. Giselle doesn't live in Potomac, right? She lives somewhere else. And casting had originally wanted you to come on the show through Wendy because we thought <sighs> you had mutual friends. I have stated that I have met Wendy and I've had a conversation with her. So you did tell them that you knew me. No, I said I've met you. Do you listen carefully or you just talk a lot? Oh, you ain't really? You, okay. Flop, Mecca, flop, Mecca, so flop, flop, flop. She's like one of the worst first season housewives. I could officially say this. Gave her the whole season. Definitely the worst um, one hit wonder housewife. Yeah, know her and know of her is different. Just because we met, I still don't know you. When you first met up with Ashley, she brought up Wendy being Osu. What does that mean, being Osu? Messy Ashley. Well, since Ashley, you brought it to mm -hmm. this platform. What does that mean? But I've never once said that I know what it is. And I told you I didn't quite understand the severity of it as well. What was your you intention in bringing it up? Thank you. And why not bring it up to Wendy? It was something that had been brought to my attention. Um, so it is not too disparaging. Okay. 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 You're asking about what it means. Giselle, shut up. No, personally speaking. So shut up. I don't believe Honestly, Ashley, I don't want to hear anything else because if you knew how taboo it is, you would not say anything else and you would just eat it and say, I, I'm I sorry, did, and, and I move have, on. And I have. And Ashley, I feel like every reunion sits there looking like Giselle sometimes. It's just like you get confronted for the terrible things you did and then it's like you take accountability, but there's always a but after it. Just, oh, Giselle takes no accountability, by the way. Oh, Kiana looks good. So I did genuinely appreciate Giselle coming and saying, 
hair, are you okay? I didn't even think in the moment, like, nobody checked up on me. It's strategic. No, no, you think it was no, strategic? No, yes. No, it, why was it strategic? It was about making Candace and Wendy look like bad friends. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh come on. I believe I that. I am a multi hyphenate. I am a mom, a wife, a professor, an author, an entrepreneur, a talk show host. I can be many things. Wendy is a top tier housewife. I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't want to compare these two, but I am going to do it. Look at how short of a segment NECA's time on the show was. And look how much Wendy has to talk about only from this season. Well, she's talking about like her past endeavors too, but like they're trying to get updates on her. She's a teacher. She's a talk show host now. She, her husband's super successful, kids. She is the epitome of like a housewife. All the other people who stayed on the show longer than her are not, but somehow they're still on the show and somehow they hate on her. It's like, giving threatened i don't know me is the same person who said living in north carolina and maryland was a bicoastal <laughs> lifestyle <laughs> i just think that we have to be mindful of buzzwords okay you know. this scene from providence Rhode Island said, <laughs> when do you like to hold yourself in other calling me a slow compared to getting a drink thrown at her um compared to her being accused that she got that she cheated on her husband with peter thomas what you guys tried it Look. She also calls me a pathological liar. You are though. Mia, you lie all the time. Mia, Mia, you are lying. Look, see? Yeah. Ashley, are you divorced? I am not divorced. <laughs> but I live very much apart. <laughs> well, we do you like your new house. I do. Karen is the first person ever. Sure. I have... I... So as what was the hold up for filing divorce? It was very... Is Robin so talking about? Maybe I just don't want to hear Robin's mouth, but it's like, Robin, did you just ask somebody what the holdup was when it took you seven seasons to get married? <laughs> Shut up. He took a trip on Valentine's Day. Oh, so he dated for I sure. Think, yeah, I think that means he's got a little boo thing. Michael's dating men and women, or just men. I still love him. I still I I massage this man's feet every night, like. I, I mean, I Michael's I massage Michael's feet every night. Yeah. What? What do you mean you massage his feet every night? Yeah. With a D, massage du. You massage du. Okay. Okay. That's a bit much. You need a <laughs> massage for <laughs> her. Uh, a cup of coffee. So, ladies, you all went to the fashion show. Was the collection giving Lululemon meets Savage? No, no man. <laughs> no. It was kind of like streetwear, like athletic. Sure I like Kiana you know, a lot. Kind okay. of grocery store. She said no, ma'am. Yeah, bitch, you're a four. She probably would have threw the drink in my face, but I didn't. So you have to be mindful too sometimes. You're sitting in a seat where you have more to lose. Don't entertain. Mia, you confuse me sometimes because sometimes I feel like you don't know what you're talking about, but then other times you hit it right on the nail. You get it right on point. You saying you're in a higher seat so you have more to lose makes so much more sense. It could almost come across that you are still defending the other person who came to fight with Candace. You know, I'll give you that one. Mm -hmm. I thank Deborah, Candace, wow. Wendy. Wow. Hey, everyone's responsible. Wow. How am I responsible? What did I do? Giselle, you are the worst. And each time you see she me dodging. Yes. Not she was to get it. So what she did, when she was in this person, I'll take Wendy out of it. Wendy out of it. She was on camera. Too right. late. Too late, okay. Giselle. She took back that Wendy's response. It wasn't yes. Candace's okay, fault, though, Giselle. I don't want to quote you. Wow. This direction walked over, got right in my face, and said, do you have something that you want to say to me? I said, okay. no. Come get this vermin out of my face. No, but you can't do that. Yes, yes, yes I can. can I mean, though. Yes, I can. It you cannot calling. tell me how to respond to someone who has okay, already well, threatened me being disrespectful to me. Do you think exactly. you really Deborah was Deborah seems so much bigger than Candace. I know. Do you think the comments exacerbated her anger? The fact that here are we are again, serious? and me Nika, shut up. using my words somehow trumps someone attempting to physically attack me. When I said that she wanted a problem with me. Thank you. Kiana, I like you even more after how you handled this reunion. You handled this really great. You handled this better than NECA. You should have been the housewife instead of NECA. The way you speak is just flows better. Even what you said to Ashley, coming to Ashley, getting Ashley together. Well deserved. I think you were great this season. I came here today with the intention to move forward. I think that I have, from the bottom of my coochie, 
Yes. I have tried. And she won't even acknowledge You're not it. capable of accountability. She won't even acknowledge it. That's, That's it. True. She won't even acknowledge. Oh acknowledge what, Giselle? I think the two You're of so you dumb. need Jesus himself. I have him. I can't wait for this to air. I can't truth. either. Okay. Um, Giselle, that's rich coming from you. You said you can't wait Breathing. for the tweets to air. Everyone was coming at you after it aired. Smarty pants. They are frozen pies. Oh, Robert, it's frozen. I love this. Yeah, send over so I can show it up your ass. I got that oven dough. Like, I'm too happy. All right, well, that's a wrap on season eight, Housewives of Potomac. What a mess of a season. Wendy, top tier. Mecca, goodbye. Giselle. We need to take down season. Robin, goodbye. Kiana, I hope to see you again. Ashley, I wouldn't mind seeing you again too. You're just so messy. Where's your evolution? Mia, you're becoming more and more of a great housewife. You're, it's, it's giving. Candace, congrats on everything with your baby. You take some time away from this toxic environment. And who else is there? Oh, Karen, you are the what? That's and you are the one, honey. Okay. Well, this was interesting. I'm going to start reviewing the Housewives of New Jersey next. So I want you guys to check out my next live reaction to season 14 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. All right. See you then. <laughs>